Hello and welcome once again to Red Game and Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 20th of January and this time I have some news for you regarding Star Citizen. And I have some good news that unfortunately is going to have a little bit of a downside for anyone who is thinking of picking up the game in the EU. As the developer of the title, Cloud Imperium Games, has elected to open a European publishing arm based here in the UK. Now in most ways this is good news because it will allow for local customer support, however, it does mean that any purchases made by European customers will be subject to local laws and taxes, so basically VAT is raising its ugly head. Now according to a Robert Space Industries post, the VAT, VAT excuse me, will come into effect on February the 1st, so you have about two weeks or so to take advantage of the lower prices before the VAT actually applies. And I have a little statement from them saying, quote, We wish there were an alternative to charging tax, but also believe that it is in our best interest to expand Star Citizen's footprint to a part of the world that has proven to be truly passionate about space games. By popular request, we will make a limited selection and waive two ships available again during the week of January 26th in case there's a past favourite you missed out on and would like to pick up for the international publishing switches over to RSI. Please check the space on the 26th for a list of available ships. So while it does have some upsides, as I said, it will mean direct support for European customers in the region, but of course it does mean that anyone donating or wanting to actually purchase the game or any assets, blah, 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 will unfortunately be beholden to VAT. Now, I think this is probably going to definitely stem the tide of European donators, which is obviously why they've warned people so that anyone who is kind of on the fence about perhaps not donating will have to make up their mind in the next couple of weeks unless they want to actually, you know, pay VAT. So it's annoying, but I can kind of see why they wanted to do this. They want to actually, you know, set up a company for the future. Star Citizen is looking amazing, and of course they want to be in it for the long haul. That makes sense, but of course it does mean yes, Europeans unfortunately get a little bit screwed, but at least they've let us know so anyone interested can of course jump in before the price hike. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.